Do you know which South American country is consistently rated to have the best cuisine on the planet? Mm -hmm. Today we take you on a quick walking tour and an eating tour of a fusion restaurant in one of my favorite cities in South America. Oh my God, those are my three favorite things to eat. Pork, fish, and seafood, really. Place I am going to be eating at today. Choi Sam. When we get our checks from the US, it's like, okay, here's the tax for food, and here's the tax for soda, here's the tax for wine or liquor. Bring me to the airport. Green onions. This is just looking great. <laughs> Time to go up and see. Welcome back to Generic Expats. It is September 19th, around 3.20 in the afternoon in the second most important city in Peru called Arequipa. I'm currently walking across what is called Puente Grau, or one of the most important bridges here in this city that connects the downtown area behind me here with the rest of the city here following this avenue called Avenida Ejército or Army Avenue. Today we're going to be walking this bridge and I'm going to bring you to one of Peru's best places to eat in terms of fusion food. I think a lot of people probably already know that Peru is definitely known for its fusion cuisine and it has very high quality food that mixes many different types of flavors. We have flavors big time from Asia here. There's, this is probably the Latin country that I have visited and lived in in which the Chinese and Asian influence is the strongest. So today I'm going to bring you to, oh, almost getting clipped by these cars. <laughs> yeah, this is something that in Latin America you'll definitely grow to love if you come down here and visit and live in here. Very, very narrow sidewalks. My car is almost clipping you at all times. <laughs> Yeah, so since this is a colonial city, it has not really the same type of infrastructure you would think or you would want to have a safer walk around the city. Albeit, it's manageable, but it's not ideal. <laughs> All right, time to cross. So, as I was saying, Peruvian food has an interesting mix of their local cuisine, their local flavors and they have that with a fusion additional mix of Asian Chinese style flavors. And today I'm bringing you to a restaurant that has fantastic Peruvian fusion food. This food is normally called chifa. So today I'm going to bring you to a restaurant. I actually went there last week for the first time and it was fantastic. The name of this restaurant is Soy Chap. Soy chum. Not sure. <laughs> I think it's soy chum. It's not really, uh, I think, the most famous restaurant, but it had really good quality food when I went there last week and I was in a bind. See, this is one of the few restaurants that accepts credit cards. A typical restaurant won't actually allow you to pay with credit cards or bank cards. Normally, the local places will only accept cash and that's okay I mean if you eat out a lot you just need to take out the correct amount in cash because most local Peruvian restaurants they won't accept your credit card because they won't even have a credit card machine it's just not common whereas on this strip we have just crossed the super busy Puente Grau 
almost getting clipped by many, many cars. And now it is getting to that point of day where the traffic seems to be picking up. And that is rush hour, hora pico. So, as we walk, we're gonna see the beginning of what is this Avenida Ejército. And as we see here with this, um, this little door thing right here, it shows that we are just entering into what is called Yanawara, which is a, a different, uh, I think it's a municipality, or it's a part, a part of the city that is actually one of the most beautiful and a place that I've definitely spent a lot of time in in the past. Very good place. It has recently come to my attention that I have not given the proper introduction to tell you why my videos and my information is so useful. You see, I've been traveling since 2013 nearly non-stop. Many of it has been within Asia and Latin America. I spent five years in Vietnam. And just five years ago, I started my full-time lifestyle as the digital nomad that I am today, where I spent at least one month in the following countries. Argentina. Brazil. Peru. Colombia. Ecuador. Mexico. Guatemala and El Salvador and in this time I've been doing everything that I've been bringing to my channel here at Generic Expats. Now what this means is that I've been arranging my own accommodation and tasting the local cuisine, checking out the cost of living, looking for entertainment options, checking to see if these places are dangerous, learning how the weather is, and just the overall well-being of a foreign expat living in each one of these new cities. So, soy chum it is. I cannot wait to eat here, to be honest. It is 3.30. I just left the, uh, the Brazilian chain gym that I go to nearly every day called SmartFit. I had my protein, but it is time for a real good Asian fusion Peruvian dish. Sadly, with my current condition, I've been recently doing many visits to the dentist as I actually just recorded a couple of those experiences. <laughs> um, I've had some cavities removed and the dentists have been telling me it is important not to eat uh, pit, pork, fish like ceviche and, and seafood because of the, the risk of having lots of bacteria that isn't always killed in the, in the cooking process. I'm a little bit sad about that, but that's life. Oh boy, these buses are insanely loud. <laughs> Here's another statue behind me showing how Avenida Ejército really gives some interesting things to see as you walk past. This is uh, actually the, the road that I live on, but much further down. I don't know how many kilometers or miles, a couple miles down. All right. Now, as I was saying, since, since Dr. Roberto, my dentist told me not to eat chancho, ni chancho, ni pescado, ni mariscos. I was like, oh my God, those are my three favorite things to eat. Pork, fish, and seafood, really. I mean, I like other, other meats, but my favorite type to consistently eat are those three. I think they're kind of, some of the more, some of the healthier ones too. And here we have a guy parking his car. Sometimes they kind of just enter onto the sidewalk. You have to be careful here and not to keep on it. I think in pretty much all of Peru, you know, you can see like this car right here is actually parked on the sidewalk. And in Mexico, if you're gonna be doing that, well, you better, you better guess that the, the policia is gonna ask for a mordida. Yeah, I've, on, in my many, many years, well, not many, many years, in the few years I've spent in Mexico, and pretty much all of it has been on my motorcycle. Oh boy, the corrupt police, especially in Mexico City, Cancun, Riviera Maya area, they love taking bribes and just making up laws, even if everyone else is doing it. 
Ah. Yeah, Peru is a very interesting beast here because uh, the, the pedestrian doesn't really have any priority. If you are crossing the street, you need to make sure that you're looking at the drivers that are coming past and that they see you because they don't stop. No, no, no. They do not stop. And that is something you really have to get used to. Something that maybe isn't the end of the world, but maybe it's a little bit diff difficult to, to actually get used to if, you, if you're not used to it. You got some niñas behind me from school, probably looking at me. And uh, yeah, so Choi Sam is coming up. Let's, let's take a forward look here. Chingolito. It's like a store for baby toys and materials. Baby related stuff. There's probably the most famous the most famous uh, farmers here, Inca Pharma, coming from the Incas, the history of the Incas and their, and their history and their influence here in this area. All right, well, here we have what the place I am going to be eating at today, Choi Sam Chifa, Restaurante Chifa. Restaurant, yeah. So, time to go up and see. Hello, amigo. How are you? Are you okay? Can I record here while I eat? No. Oh, oh, oh. You can do it. You can do Yeah, well, it's, time to, it's time to go sit down and we have a nice view of the Avenida Ejercito here, the road that we just walked down as we're gonna order and get things done. Some restaurant, Chifa. Chifa restaurant. Here we're gonna look at the menu. So these are all prices in soles. So the sole price Compared to the dollar, one dollar equals about three three seventy three soles seventy centimos. So a lot of these prices are pretty pretty reasonable. So I mean, we have this one's about well, six dollars six fifty. Uh, the most expensive is probably on the specialty of the house. Um, the most expensive would be twenty five soles, which is like seven or eight dollars. And then. We have some sweet dishes here. These are salty, sweet salads. Oh, super cheap salads for $1.50 or 60 cents or whatever. Combos. Chancho is pig. Chaufa is like the fried rice. It's like an Asian fusion Peruvian fried rice and then pollo piña. So this one is possibly one I will, will get today, but not chancho because I can't eat the pork. Yeah, so we have all these different combos, A through H, and they all cost 20 soles, which is a good price for sure, about six dollars. Yeah, we have, these are all chicken dishes. I might, I might have to actually order from here as well, since, like I said, I'm unable to get what I really wanted. I actually prefer, much prefer getting pork. These are all the pork types of dishes, soups. Soups for about four dollars. Soup looks pretty, pretty damn good as well. Wonton soups and whatnot. Uh, last time I came here, I got the airport. I could get the airport with chicken. That was what I got last time, and it was super good. I wonder what the uh, duck airport is. So the airport is a funny name, but it has um, kind of some. It's like a fried rice, I guess, with um, some bean sprouts. And there was chow fa, so this is the fried rice. Noodle dishes, as we mentioned, very good fusion food here. So these are like Asian style noodles. Special noodles with different meats. And we have here, these are beef dishes with fried rice. Pretty cheap. Beef with vegetables and 
fried rice, 13, well, you know, four dollars. And vegetarian dishes, nice. Tortillas. So these aren't the tortillas like you would get in Mexico. <laughs> these are these are the different style tortillas, the ones that are like fried vegetables together. Yeah, they, uh, I was confused the first time. I, I got a tortilla in Lima, and it was something like this, and I was like, huh? Thinking about Mexican tortillas, like the the um, corn or flour tortillas, and then bocaditos, like little snacks, wontons and whatnot. Here we have some juices, all for pretty reasonable, a dollar fifty, dollar or less for a cup, and coffee tea. Yeah, so. It is time for me to put on my thinking cap and decide. Well, it is time to order. I already have the uh, sweet and sour sauce and a spicy soy sauce. Or soy sauce with some crushed up or chopped up fresh red peppers. All right, it's time to make that make that call. Okay, I'll go with that. Señor? ¿Cuál es tu nombre, amigo? Daniel. Daniel, listo. Daniel, soy Eric. Gusto, Eric, Daniel. Gusto. Daniel, eh, voy a pedir lo mismo que pedí la última vez. Aeropuerto, pero esta vez con pollo. ¿Aeropuerto solo? Con pollo. Ah, con pollo. Sí, sí. La última vez pedí chancho, pero no puedo ahora. No puedo okay, comer chancho. Claro, chancho. Muy dañino. <risa> ok, un aeropuerto de pollo. ¿Quieres sí. algo para beber o así está bien? Así está bien, gracias. Claro, con permiso. Are you planning to travel to or live in Latin America, but your language skills in Spanish are just not where you want them to be? I don't speak Spanish! Here at Generic Languages, we help you improve so that you are ready to be confident and flourish from Mexico all the way down to Argentina. Check out Generic Languages courses for up to a 30% discount on genericsworld.net. All right, it has been decided. So let's let's dive into what I just ordered now because it's kind of a, that's a strange name. So this dish is called the airport. Mm, not sure why. I think I might have asked someone at some point in time what what is this airport story. But to be honest, I can't remember if I did or not. And if they told me, I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, it's called the airport, and it comes with a soup at the beginning. I do remember it had a wonton soup, wonton style soup and then a like a fried rice in like a dome and this time it will have chicken and yeah so it is time yes i'm so excited this is i absolutely love peruvian food and especially asian fusion peruvian food is to die for all right the first part of the meal is coming out now <laughs> Señor, disculpa por asustar. No te preocupes. <laughs> Estamos para servir. To hablar. To hablar español. Con un acento muy, muy lindo. <laughs> Gracias. Buen provecho. Gracias. All right, he was joking with me with a real gringo style Spanish. So let's check out the food he just brought out. The wonton soup here. Yep, looking pretty nice. It's definitely not super flavorful, but it's good to use this broth at the end. Whenever I'm eating soups, or pretty much all my food, really everything I eat, is a mixture of the sweetness, which I will get here with the uh, sweet and sour, spicy and salty, which I'll get with the uh, soy sauce with the chopped, chopped up fresh peppers. Time to taste it right away to make sure we don't skip the first original flavor. All right, pretty hot, decent little broth. Put in a little bit of sweet and sour, and the spicy peppers with soy sauce. Now, it makes the dish a little bit nicer for me. I'm not sure exactly what this is, to be honest. 
It says Likumki, which is a good brand of products from, I think, from China. I don't really know what it is, so I'm going to put it on here first. Oh, that's extra soy sauce. That's just soy sauce. So, yeah, I like having a bit of this soup and the broth, especially for the actual main part of the dish, which is the... Um, the fried rice basically. <clears throat> I'm not sure sure what the difference is between the, the airport fried rice and the chaufa. Now that I think about it, I don't really know. It's too hot. Yep, this is a nice little wonton soup. Mmm. That extra soy sauce. The spicy pepper helps to make the flavor better for me. A lot of people make fun of me for the way I eat. It's always with a, a fork and a spoon. And um, that's okay. That's just how I eat. Kind of got used to eating this way after living five years in Vietnam. Good little warm up. Let's bring in round two. Clear the soup to the side. El señor Daniel, <laughs> eso ahí. Gracias, amigo. Bueno, hecho. Que lo disfrutes. Gracias. Okay, let's take a look at the wonders that is the airport. The airport has landed. It is a wonton on top here with some fried rice, vegetables included, and broccoli. And we have some bean sprouts, looks like tomato, green onions. This is just looking great. Tasting the airport first. Let's go in, go in hot. Yep, pretty good. Pretty good. I saved the, the uh, broth here to put onto it. It's, it's a good, um, this, Airport fried rice, whatever it is, has great flavor, but when I add the extra broth with the, I guess, chicken broth flavor, and then, of course, tons of sweet and sour, <laughs> and the spicy, and the spicy um, chilies, and the soy sauce. We're talking, this is a knockout, absolute knockout dish. You gotta add it. I mean, the flavor by itself is it's good. But once you add these extra sauces, these extra flavors, ooh, that's when stuff really, really picks up. Flavors are just exploding in your mouth when you do it like this. At least, this is the way I like it. <laughs> so, let's get some chicken in here. Pretty good, but the final special ingredient for me, some broth. Yeah, I put some broth on it, maybe some extra soy sauce. I didn't put too, money on this, too much on this side. And now we're going good. Mmm. That is where it's at. I like sinking the little wonton thing into some broth to soften it. And this is 
such a good dish. The server Daniel asked me if I wanted a drink. <clears throat> and I normally don't get drinks because <laughs> something about my family and our way style of eating, we always just eat and don't often have a lot of drinks with the meal. Mm -hmm. mm. Just a just a delight. Time to put a bit more monkey pea sauces right next to it. Got some extra one for each bite, and then put a bit of the broth on there. My friends, awesome four dollar dish. <clears throat> so this is um when considering the the cost and the, and the value or the quality. This is definitely one of Latin America's top quality places for not only good food, but good valued food. Low price, high quality. I'm just loving this right now. So something that the local restaurants often don't have as many vegetables in the food. Usually, I mean, pretty much every restaurant gives you the appetizer, and the appetizer will be a salad, or it'll be a soup. And they're good, they're, like, the flavors are very good always. Um, but there's something about this type of local cuisine here at the local restaurant. They love potatoes and starches and grains, and that's good, but that, that's all it is. <laughs> so a lot of these just only have grains, starches, no vegetables included. So a dish that includes like some, looks like, I'm not sure if it's tomato or red pepper, and then broccoli and the green bean sprouts, I mean, fantastic. Daniel, my tres más, my tres más chili. Me traes un poco más chile, por favor. Chilecito. Más chile. Sí. Así. I'm not sure if you didn't understand my accent or whatever, but I asked for some more spicy, spicy uh, sauce, soy sauce with the the extra chilies because I'm just a sadist. Gracias, amigo. De nada. I'm a sadist. I need the extra. The extra spice, the extra kick, with all, with every bite. <laughs> the extra kick and the extra soy sauce. Spicy soy sauce. Just a delight, this stuff is a delight. Mm -hmm. Spread out the, <clears throat> the broth here. Toss some chilies into it. Oh, the mountain, the mountain is grumbling. Okay. Uh-oh. Got my napkin dirty right away with the sweet and sour sauce. Oh boy. I stumbled upon this place as I was <clears throat> finishing doing some uh, x-rays for my dental uh, appointments I had right across the street actually and I came here and I was like hey I don't have any don't have any cash because you know I went to this x-ray place expecting to pay for everything with my card and they're like no it has to be cash I'm like hey, I have a debit card like it is cash oh we don't have the machine for that I'm like okay okay so I didn't have enough money so I had to pay them what I had and come back and pay the rest so I had no idea that would happen. And I came here and I was like, all I have is a card. Can I get can I get some, some food here and pay with the card? They're like, yeah, that's fine. 
and I was so hungry, I was just dying. So this was like a huge surprise. Pleasant. Mm -hmm. This is good, good, good. Just loving it. Put a bit more of that broth. pretty demanding when it comes to food so having a, a real solid dish like this thumbs up huge thumbs up this is a treat I actually cook quite a bit at home even despite having amazing options of where, where to eat local good food for super cheap, but I just can't get around that lack of vegetables and salads in the dishes. <laughs> so actually, what I do often here, since I've been here for the past three months, what I do is I buy food from local restaurants and I buy it takeaway bring it home and then make a massive salad and combine everything and best of both worlds. Yes, yes, yes. Keep on adding the extra broth, extra soy sauce. process <clears throat> shall continue yep, finishing up this one again <laughs> finished up two of these by myself under the one dish Bring me to the airport as often as possible. The battle was won. Only survivor. <clears throat> A little bit of breath. Excellent, superb. Peruvian fusion. Chief of restaurants, choi sam. Super, super happy about this decision. I'm gonna give this food <clears throat> a, hard to say because I'm kind of biased and I love Asian food. Being that, being that I lived in Vietnam for five years, it's been some of my favorite types of food and flavors. So I'm gonna give it nine, <laughs> nine out of 10. Great flavors, you know, close to 10 out of 10 of flavor. The value is close to 10 out of 10, nine out of nine, nine out of 10. Um, we're talking reasonably healthy, not super 
super unhealthy. It's not fast food, but it's also not super healthy. It had some vegetables, which is good. Some rice. And um, yeah, what can I say? Enjoy some, you won my heart. As is customary with pretty much most restaurants in not only Peru, but like pretty much all of Latin America that aren't big tourist spots with tons of Americans or foreigners, Europeans, whatever. This place has the final price in the actual menu. So there's no final taxes and mandatory propinas or tips. It is basically the price you see and that's it, which is a nice, uh, happy surprise, pleasant surprise for us Americans. I mean, when we get our checks in the US, it's like, okay, here's the, the uh, extra tax, and here's the tax for food, and here's the tax for the soda, here's the tax for um, wine or liquor, or, you know, there's a, usually a couple different taxes. And, and then, of course, the tip is not mandatory, usually, unless you're in big groups in the US. So, here, I don't think uh, mandatory tips, I've seen them anywhere, but haven't been going to any like, fancy, like, touristy restaurants, so. Time to pay the piper. Pay the piper. Daniel, amigo, arreglamos la, el pagamiento. Por, fa por favor, me das la cuenta. Claro. Serían 15 soles. Voy a pagar con tarjeta. Okay. Eso es para ti. Me escriben aquí el nombre de tu canal para ver si lo veo. Dale. ¿Desde hace cuánto estás en el equipo? Ah, llevo tres meses aquí. Ah, yo poco. tiempo. Poco. Sí, no, no, es aquí en servicio. Ah. ¿Eres de aquí? No, soy de Venezuela, pero tengo cuatro años aquí. ¿Cuatro años? Ah, bastante. Sí. Ah. ¿Y tú eres de dónde? ¿Estados Unidos? Sí, o, no. exacto. Pensé Men... que eras británico. Ah, ¿en serio? Sí. ¿Por, yo... por mi acento? Sí, un poquito. Sí. <risa> Espero haberte ayudado. Un gusto. De... Gracias, Daniel. Ah. So, here we have... The bill is electronic with the uh, payment that I just made with my debit card. You sign it on the machine, and this was, as seen here, 15 soles. Excellent value. Choice some, you win. It's time to ask what's going on with the airplane. ¿Puedo hacer un favor, amigo? Estoy haciendo un video ahora, y de verdad no entiendo por qué se llama aeropuerto. ¿Me podrías explicar el por qué? Aeropuerto es una función que hicieron los chinos con los limeños. Ajá. Pues es un plato que nace en Lima. No es un cuadrato original. Ah, ah es, el, es limeño. Claro. Ah, okay. Pero para qué este nombre? Pues no entiendo, porque aquí yo. No se sabe. No, no se sabe. <risa> y es una combinación, porque el plato oriental no es. Choisan es un nombre de un santo de Año Nuevo Chino. Es algo que es muy usual por acá. Porque en general de los chivas orientales ¿no? se ponen su apellido, se ponen su nombre. Claro. Y de aquí, una ciudad, ¿no? Sí. como Chindao, ¿no? Los como Chindao. Chindao, Chindao, Fomei, o sea, son apellidos. ¿no? Y este es un... Esto es un caso especial porque el rey no es peruano. Entonces no puede usar, no tiene apellido chino, tampoco tiene descendencia de un... Ah, el dueño es peruano, no es... No es asiático. Es peruano. Muy bien, gracias. Alright, got a little story of what he mentioned about the airport. I didn't even realize it wasn't a dish from here, it's a dish from Lima. Alright, good info.